Hi everyone, this is Lawanda Lucy, and today I would like to speak about the electromagnetic flow meter technology and I will demonstrate some of Siemens MagFlow sensors and transmitters and I will do a quick configuration of Mag6000 transmitter but first of all let's have a look about the working principle of the electromagnetic flow meter the electromagnetic flow meters are volumetric flow meters that use electromagnetic induction to measure liquid velocity. The electromagnetic flow meters detect flow by using Faraday's law of induction. Inside the flow meter, there is an electromagnetic coil that generates a magnetic field and electrodes that capture the electromotive force, the voltage, proportional to the velocity of flow of the conductive liquids only. This method of measurement is highly accurate at measuring water-based fluids as they pass through a pipe. As a leading global supplier of electromagnetic flow meter devices, the Siemens C-Trans FM family of products offers a high quality and top class devices. MAG 5000 and MAG 6000, the transmitters are designed to offer high performance, easy operation, and reduce maintenance. MAC 5000 is really robust solution for all around applications, and MAC 6000 is for the more demanding applications where higher accuracy and greater functionality is required. The transmitters evaluate the signals from Siemens flow meters such as MAG 1100, MAG 1100F, MAG 3100, MAG 3100P, and MAG 5100W. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. The Citrans FM MAG 3100 is an electromagnetic flow sensor in a large variety that meets the demands of almost every flow application. The main applications of the Citrans FM MAG 3100 can be found in the following fields. Process industry, chemical industry, steel industry, mining, utility, power generation and distribution, oil and gas, water and wastewater. The Citrans FM MAG 5100W is an electromagnetic flow meter designed to meet groundwater, drinking water, wastewater, sewage or sludge applications. The main applications of the Citrans FM MAG 5100W can be found in the following fields. Water obstruction, water treatment, water distribution network, custody transfer water meters, irrigation, wastewater treatment, filtration plant, industrial water applications. The Citrans FM MAG 6000i, MAG 6000i EX transmitter is designed for the demands in the process industry. The robust decast aluminium housing provides support protection even in the most harsh industrial environments. Full input and output functionality is given even in the EX version. The following functions are available. Flow rate, two measuring branches, two totalizers, low flow cut off, flow direction, error system, operating time, uni bidirectional directional flow. Now it's configuration time. The configuration separated for two parts in this demonstration. In the first part, we will do a basic programming of the transmitter. In the second part, we will do the configuration even if we lost or damaged the prom of the flow sensor. First of all, I will show you how to access and program the basic functions of the Siemens Citrons FM 
Mac 6000 transmitter. To access the programming menu, hold on the top up key for 2 seconds. You will be promoted to enter the password. The factory default password is 1000. Press the lock unlock key. Press the change key. Press the lock unlock key to enter the value. You are now in the programming mode. Press the lock unlock key. The first parameter is mains frequency. If necessary, press the lock unlock key to edit the parameters. Pressing the change key to change the mains frequency from 60 Hz to 50 Hz. To save this value, press the lock unlock key. Press the forward key to view the next parameter. The flow direction parameter is set to positive. This indicates that the flow is going in the same direction as the same directional arrow on the flow sensor. To move to the next parameter without making any changes, press the forward key. The next parameter is Qmax. This parameter sets the units of the flow and the value of the span. Press the lock unlock key. Pressing the change key and the select key will change the span value and the units of a flow. When the desired units are set, press the lock unlock key to save the changes. Next parameter will be totalizer. There are two independent totalizers. Press the lock unlock key to access totalizer 1. Press the lock unlock key a second time to edit the settings. Press the change key to move the decimal place to the desired location. Press the select key to access the units. Press the change key to change the units. Press the lock unlock key to save the value. The final step of basic programming is to turn on the current output. Press the top up key three times to move to the upper level of the menu structure. Press the forward key to move to the output menu. Press the lock unlock key three times to edit the current output parameter. Press the change key to turn the current output on. Press the lock unlock key to save the settings. We are now finished programming the basic functions of the flow meter. To exit the programming menu, hold the top up key for two seconds. This will take you directly back to the operator screen. The larger number is the flow rate and the smaller number is the totalizer value. Now, I will show you how to program Max 6000 i transmitter, especially if your sensor chrome has been lost or damaged. Recall that every Mac 5 or 6000 base flow system has a factory supplied sensor chrome that is shipped with a flow tube. The sensor chrome contains the calibration and size data for that particular flow tube. If the sensor chrome is missing or damaged, the transmitter will indicate this by flashing the general alarm icon and also by displaying the P40 sensor prompt error on the display. In this case, we will program the transmitter manually by following this sequence. On the rating plate, note the meter den size in millimeter and the tube calibration factor as we need these to program the transmitter. Next, we should enter the password to access the programming mode and navigate to the sensor characteristics menu.
In the sensor characteristics menu, enter the flow meter size, now show in meters instead of centimeters, and calibration factor that were recorded from the nameplate on the junction box. Also note to use the correct excitation frequency which can be found in the technical documents that come with the meter. Once the transmitter has been programmed with the meter size and calibration data, the flow meter system will now be as accurate as if it had a functioning sensor probe. You will however have to reprogram your QMAX and output settings as these are not retained in the transmitter memory. If you need any additional information concerning the electromagnetic flow meters and the working principle, please feel free to contact me and I will be very happy to serve you. Thank you so much and have a nice day.